Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome or welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a book haul, manga haul. So the last time I done one of these was a while so I don't know what I bought in that time period but like I don't I don't buy books as much as I used to. Um, I'm getting back into buying manga now because I'm <laughs> reading a lot of them and I just want to keep going with the series. First up here I have The One and Only Ruby by Kath Catherine Applegate. So I don't know if you guys have heard of The One and Only Ivan. Phenomenal book about like middle grade book about this gorilla in a mall in like captivity. A gorilla that's stuck in this mall, um, kind of in like a zoo type of thing. It tells a story of the different animals that he lives with and like the friends that he makes along the way. So this is the third book in that series. So this one we get to hear more about Ruby who is the cute little elephant. I haven't read this one yet. These are so cute, so easy, such easy quick reads. Definitely recommend them to like the middle grade audience as well or anyone who just likes to read middle grade but yes it's a very quick read the one and only ivan is has been on my favorites lists and has been on my favorites before it's just a very light-hearted book i don't know if you like animals i think you'd enjoy it next up here i have nick and charlie by alice oseman this is a heartstopper novella i really love the heartstopper series i've read the one through five of the volumes that are out this one i believe basically follows the aftermath of one of them leaving for university and then the other one not going yet so it's like how they deal with that i started reading it at one point but i want to get back to it but it's kind of nice Oh look, I got distracted. Look at the little stack that has all Alice Oseman's books on it. That's really cute. But yeah, it's kind of interesting to read about them more in a novella, novel-ish kind of format as opposed to the graphic novel. So you get more dialogue and you get more, more text. You get more dialogue and stuff like that with this one for sure. Next up, I have Death Note short stories. Uh, you guys have probably heard me talk about this one. Something cool though, doesn't really matter, but In the Light, I never saw it till In the Light, it says Death Note in cursive but it's only in like the light. I didn't notice it till later. I was amused, okay? Basically this one is continuing after volume 13. Definitely don't read this if you haven't read the Death Note series. Some of like the extra panels and short stories and stuff like that are the same as Death Note 13. So if you've read that, you will find that this is a tiny bit repetitive. Something I thought was interesting about it was the concept of selling the Death Note, which is not in the Death Note series. So this is like, kind of talks about that and then it's it's a little bit more modernized it's a little bit more modernized but yeah well i read this and did enjoy it um but i'll probably talk about it more in like a wrap-up video coming up maybe next up here i have junjo ito's cat diary uh this one i bought a little bit ago and i kind of forgot that i had it um but i don't even want to know what it's about junjo ito means creepy creepy art dark story shit that you've never heard of or seen in any other book that's what's gonna come up so this i'm just hoping like i think the cat's gonna like haunt you so it's probably a twist it's not gonna be my cute cat manga that i usually read yeah looks like a curse the curse of the cat yes i'm definitely down to read that one i'll probably read it soon next up here i have tomi i'm currently reading this one i'm almost done I have a little bit left. Uh, this is a bunch of short stories about this girl named Tomi who's like a very popular character in his whole universe. But basically Tomi can seduce anyone and also drive them to murder. So there's a lot happening. Each short story is pretty different, different scenarios that happen to her and like different people that come into contact with her. But so far I find it really interesting. I definitely want to read all of Jinjo Ito's work at some point. I, I want to get through all this stuff I think I think his work is great I don't know if I've talked about this book yet I feel like I might have but this is called Goddess of Filth uh, it's by V Castro I bought it because I like the spine just being real don't focus on me look at the spine it's a spine this is about a seance kind of gone wrong is what I went into it knowing but I remember overall like I thought it was okay um but I did buy it because I saw the spine at a bookstore and I was like, what is that? Give it to me. So that's why we own this. Last but not least, definitely not least, definitely not least, Alice in Borderland. I have volumes one through four here. I have the rest of them coming in the mail. I ordered them. I checked my bank account, I'm like, yep, yeah, I can do it. Order them. This is volume one. Volume two, volume three, volume four. That's all I got. 
Look how beautiful the spines are. Anyways, this series is about a, a guy named Aristu who him and his two friends end up witnessing fireworks. They witness, they witness something in Tokyo. They witness something and they get kind of transported to this new world where you have to uh, play these games to survive. And they're games to the death. And basically in this series, they have, they have a visa. So if your visa expires, you die. And to get a new visa, you gotta win a game. And some of the games, you can only one person can win. Some of them, it's not like that. Uh, and they're all split into like different types of games. Uh, it's all split into like hearts, clubs, spades, and they all mean a different thing and all the numbers mean a different thing. And you get to meet so many characters. I've been loving reading this and I've been watching the show again, but I've been having a great time. This has been the best time. So there you guys have it. That is my little book haul. I'm sorry. I feel like a little awkward about it. Like was it, did I explain things well enough or did I talk too much about like the ones that I've read and like my thoughts on them? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's, a, it's gonna be okay. But thank you guys so much for all the support on all the videos. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I love going through your guys' comments and stuff like that. Uh, if you made it to the end of this one, comment a purple heart. I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys super soon with a new video. Take care. Bye.